Improving your click-through ratio is one of the most important metrics that you can focus on in Google Ads so that you can increase the total performance of your account. And the reason for this is because Google Ads is built on a cost per click model where Google only gets paid when someone clicks on your ad. So Google doesn't get paid on how many people see your ads, they only get paid when someone clicks that ad. So always remember that the Google Ads algorithm rewards a high click-through ratio. And this is great news for small businesses because unlike other forms of media where large businesses can come in and just with a big budget blow all the competitors out of the water, because Google Ads puts a high priority on relevance and your click-through ratio, it means that even a small business with a small budget can have great success with Google Ads. And the reason for why I know this is because my very first business was going up against some titans and worldwide leaders in my individual niche. And I used to always joke that my whole marketing budget wouldn't even cover their coffee budget for one of their offices in a single day. But despite all of that, we were able to see great success with Google Ads. And the way that we did that is that we focused on high ad relevance and we did everything we could to increase our click-through ratio. And the reason for why your click-through ratio is so important is because even if you've got a competitor in your same niche which has a budget which is three times the amount of yours, but you have a click-through ratio which is three times higher than them, you are far more likely to win the auction. And the reason for that is because even though the competitor is willing to pay three times more, your ad is three times more likely to be clicked on. So the Google Ads algorithm would much prefer to show your ads above your high spending competitors because it knows that your ads are three times more likely to get clicked on. Remembering that that click is the all important metric for Google Ads because that's when Google gets paid. So in this video, we're gonna discuss click-through ratio and its related metrics. I'm also gonna show you what the current benchmarks are for your industry in relation to click-through ratio. And then finally, we're gonna go through the actions that you can take in order to increase your click-through ratio. But before we get into all of that great teaching, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I'm passionate about teaching you how you can use Google Ads to grow your own business or your client's business. And to help you in that journey, I wanna give you free access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this is a checklist that I developed and I still use every single day when I'm optimizing my Google Ads campaigns. And the reason that I use this is because it lets me know exactly what I need to be optimizing in my Google Ads account every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And if you wanna get free access right now, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. With all that said, let's get into today's training. Now, just to remove any confusion, especially if you're new to this whole Google Ads thing, when I talk about click-through ratio, I'm talking about the metric that Google gives you and records the percentage of times that your ad is clicked on versus the number of impressions or the number of times that your ad is shown. So for example, if your ad is shown 100 times and you get 10 clicks, you would then have a click-through ratio of 10%. But I do need to stress that that is not the full story. And in order to make sure that Google just didn't become a clickbait type of industry, and that's really, really important for Google because if the user or the customer who's clicking on the ads constantly finds that the ads that they click on are not relevant to their search, it's bad news for Google because people would then lose confidence in the ads that Google is showing them and they would just bypass those ads. So to combat this and to make sure that Google is still achieving its goal of serving highly relevant ads to users' individual search inquiries, alongside your click-through ratio metric, you also need to take notice of your keyword quality score, your ad relevance, and your landing page experience. And let me show you how you can review those items right now. So you can see your click-through ratio in the overview section in Google Ads, but to be able to see these other metrics which are really important, which is quality score and ad relevance, and also that landing page experience, you need to go into your individual campaign, and then you need to go into your search keywords. And it's highly likely that you won't see these metrics come up straight away. So then you need to go into columns, modify columns, 
Then you can do the search, for example, quality score. You can see that in there. Your landing page experience. And also add relevance. You just click on that and you check on the box to add it in there. Now, what I also do as well is when I've added these metrics, I'll generally just pull them up through here. And what this allows me to do is that, that way I can group this information together. So I'm seeing my click-through ratio, quality score, ad relevance, and landing page experience all together. And then I don't have to go through and try and scroll through and see what's happening. So the quality score is a score out of 10. Now the minimum standard that you need is you at least need a four, because anything under a four, a one, two, or a three out of 10, you actually will see a warning in here, which will be saying that your ads are limited. And what that is meaning is that Google, a lot of the time is not even showing your ads because the quality score is so low. And if you do have a low quality score, what that means is, is that it means that you haven't included your keywords in your ad copy, and then also you need to include more keyword targeting on the landing page. So the reason that we've been able to get a 10 out of 10 is for example, in this keyword, which is skip higher. When we go into the actual ad that we've used in this ad group, you can see that we've included skip in higher in the display path. We're also using dynamic keyword insertion. So it's used in that headline. We've also got it included in our descriptions. And then when you go to the actual landing page, you can see this page is all about skip ins. So it's really, really highly relevant. Now I did say that you need to be above a four, but ideally you want this to be a seven, eight, nine or 10. And then I keep tinkering around until I get that up there. And remembering the way that you do that is making sure that your keyword is mentioned in the ad copy. And then it's also relevant on the landing page. And then these things tie in together. So if for example, your ad relevance is above average or it's performing really well, but your keyword quality score is still low, you would know then you would need to focus more on your landing page experience. Now, the landing page experience takes a couple of things into account. It also estimates how relevant and useful your landing page is. So once again, this is tying back to the initial search term. So Google isn't only interested in the ad, it's also interested in the landing page. But then further than that, it doesn't only look at the relevance and the use usefulness of the landing page. It also takes into account factors such as how easy it is for people to navigate your page. So that's also looking at your design and also your UX principles. So what you would do is if you saw that your quality score was low and you had a, an above average or an excellent ad relevance, but a below average landing page experience, you know that you would have to focus on the landing page in order to increase this quality score. But then if you had a really good landing page experience, but then you had a below average ad relevance, you knew that it would be the ads that you would have to focus on. So what you're looking at through here is these are the four metrics that you wanna be focusing on. And what we can see from here is that we've got a really high quality score, 10 out of 10, perfect on most of our keywords. And then we're also meeting the standard and we've got above average ad relevance and landing page experience. So there's nothing further we need to do here. So then the next step of the process is that we wanna go through and have a look at how our current click-through ratio is performing against our industry niche. And a great way of doing this is to go through and check a report that WordStream release every single year. And you just need to Google WordStream Google Ads benchmarks. Now, what I wanna make very, very clear here is that I have no affiliation with WordStream and I'm not receiving any affiliate links or anything for this. The reason why I'm recommending this is because I've been using and reviewing this report every single year since 2014. I find it highly relevant data. And the reason for that is because when you go to this page, it breaks down the important factors for you. So you can see some different benchmarks in and around cost per click, cost per lead, your average click-through ratio and your conversion rate. And the reason for why this is so important is because it lets you know how your click-through ratio is performing performing against your competitors in your niche. And remember, you don't need to have a click-through ratio that is the highest on all of Google. You just need to have a higher click-through ratio than your competitors, especially your competitors who are also targeting on the same keywords and in the same location as you. So on that data that I looked before, you could see that we had a click-through ratio in the account that I was managing of 12.5%, and for some keywords, it was up at above 15%. And that is actually in the home and home improvement niche. And you can see through here, the industry average is about 5%. And because we're running at between 12 to 15%, we're running at over double and nearly three times the industry standard for our click-through ratio. So that's how I know that we are performing above standard and we know that we'll be getting a really high performing campaign. 
And then you can just have a look depending on which industry niche that you're in. So for example, with business services, you can see that this click-through ratio is about 5.5%. So you would then be targeting to be anywhere above that 7% because then you know you're a good percentage above the industry average. Whereas for something like arts and entertainment, because that click-through ratio is already up at about 13%, you would need to be pushing 16 to 17% click-through ratio to be ahead of the pack. So to improve the performance of your campaign, as I said, a great place to start is to to focus on increasing your click-through ratio. And remembering you wanna start the journey off by looking at your own click-through ratio in relation to your keyword quality score, your ad relevance, and also your landing page experience. And then when you're happy with how they're performing, you wanna duck over to that WordStream industry benchmarks report and check to see how your click-through ratio compares to your industry average. And if you're only meeting that average, I'd be looking to focus on your click-through ratio so that you're a good at least three to 4% higher than your industry average. And then that way you know that you are highly likely to be the top or one of the top performing businesses who are targeting your specific keywords in your local area. And throughout that screen share, when I was going through my ad copy, you may have seen that I was using a function called dynamic keyword insertion. And this is a great advanced function that I like to use in Google search campaigns because it greatly increases your click-through ratio. And if you'd like to know more about how you can set this up in your very own campaign, all you need to do is to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See ya.